You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. Your 11 minutes of nonstop news starts with a check on weather and traffic. On this first day of summer, we are turning up the heat even more, Chesley. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Yes, indeed. Look at the hour by hour. Starting off on the mild side, we got temperatures in the 70s, some 60s out there as well in the outlying areas. We'll see the sunshine through the day. A few extra clouds here and there, but you're looking at 95 degrees by 2. 98 will be your afternoon high temperature for today. And you think that's hot, we'll go hotter by tomorrow. In fact, an increased chance of rain as we head toward the weekend. We'll talk more about that in the full forecast coming up. Our top story this morning, Georgia is back in the national spotlight. This is a live look at the U.S. Capitol where state leaders will testify during a hearing on the January 6th insurrection. Molly Oak has more on what we can expect. All eyes on Georgia today in the January 6th hearings. That's because both Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger and his chief operating officer, Gabriel Sterling, are both expected to be called as witnesses. Raffensperger will talk about the infamous phone call with former President Donald Trump just days before January 6th. While Sterling and the Secretary of State's office have battled a mountain of election fraud claims, both expected to discuss the push coming from the Trump campaign to force states to overturn certified election results. And a Fulton County election worker is also part of the witness list today. Wondrea Shea Moss was one of the workers at the State Farm Arena counting ballots into the early morning hours after the election. She faced a wave of threats after claims Georgia's election results had been manipulated. The hearing is scheduled to start this afternoon at 1. And continuing your 11 minutes of nonstop news with some other top headlines. Don't throw your mask out just yet. New numbers this morning show COVID is surging again in Georgia. The state is recording an average of 3,000 cases a day. Health officials say they're also seeing more people who are vaccinated contract the virus and show symptoms. It's been a struggle at Atlanta's airport. We just checked in for you. There are 14 cancellations already this morning, according to the site FlightAware. Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport was plagued with problems over the holiday weekend, including a water main break. It shut down some bathrooms and concessions in Concourse B. At last check, the airport said the issue was not having a major impact on flights, but two gates at Concourse B are still closed. All right, so if you feel like there's a little less cereal in your box these days, it is not your imagination. It's called shrinkflation. It is hitting stores across the U.S. As products get smaller, the prices stay the same. Family size Cocoa Pebbles, Charmin Ultra Soft, Dawn Ultra Dish Soap, and Aveeno Moisturizing Lotion, all items ConsumerWorld.com has caught shrinking just in the last few months. It's like insult to injury. If you're taking your children outside during the heat, you'll want to keep an eye on the temperature. Pediatricians say young children are not able to regulate their body temperatures like adults. It is much easier for a child to get heat exhaustion than for an adult and especially for a baby. Babies are at an incredibly high risk. You'll also want to keep in mind high humidity makes it feel hotter than the temperature. The American Academy of Pediatrics says a heat index above 90 can cause trouble for children who may not know why they're starting to feel bad. Doctors say to watch out for signs of heat exhaustion like sluggishness, cool, clammy skin, and muscle cramps. We're starting to see things heat up for 4th of July. Yeah, we're gearing up for the 4th of July travel season, and like a lot of things, this year's trip's going to cost a whole lot more. Now, according to AAA, the lowest average flight costs more than 200 bucks. That's the lowest. The average hotel stay, 244 a night, and a car rental, we're talking about $110 per day. That's not even to mention the gas. <laughs> oh, boy. Y'all better start saving up now. In fact, I hope you started saving up a while while ago, Aisha. All right, Crash. Well, today more parents can schedule COVID vaccines for their younger children, but some parents are still hesitant on signing up for the shots. Here's some advice to parents out there that the White House COVID-19 response coordinator told today Savannah Guthrie. Um, and these vaccines are exceedingly safe, and that's the biggest message uh, that we've now these vaccines have been given to millions and millions of kids. Very, very safe. What I would say to parents is, you know, talk to your family physician, talk to your pediatrician, talk to the people who take care of your kids and get their advice. Dr. Ja is answering more questions about COVID-19 vaccines for children under five right after 11 Alive Morning News on the Today Show. It is 6.55. Let's check out what you need to know before you get ready to head out the door. Polls open in just minutes for you to cast your vote in the primary runoff in Georgia. A few key races still need to be decided on the Democratic ballot. Voters will choose a nominee for Lieutenant Governor and Secretary of State. Republican voters will decide their nominee for the 6th, 7th, and 10th districts. The U.S. Secretary of Education will 
will be in Atlanta today to help celebrate the 50th anniversary of Title IX. The historic civil rights law is what made it possible for women and girls to play sports and expand their academic opportunities. Today, the Heritage Foundation will host a House Republican hearing on what they are calling Bidenflation. 17 House Republican lawmakers, including Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, will talk about the Biden administration's policies that they say have led to an economic and energy crisis in the U.S. T-Mobile is helping pay for gas this summer. If you have their cell service, you can get 25 cents off a gallon at any Shell station. T-Mobile is also giving airline passengers free streaming and Wi-Fi on flight, and both of those things start today. Sounds good, Chesley. All right, sounds real good. By noon today, if you're going to be going out, temperatures will be on the hot side. 89 degrees will be a temperature at noon, but going up into those 90s as we head into the afternoon, it will be a hot day today. Be careful, folks. 96 degrees will be our temperature by 3 o'clock, going up to 98 for a high. Back down to 97 degrees by 6 o'clock tonight under sunny skies. Very, very warm. Well, I'll say hot for this afternoon. Oh, it's a nice one, too. Yeah. All right, we are wrapping it up together for the first time in a while. It's been I a minute. Know. It's been yeah. a minute. It's been a couple it's of minutes. Good yeah. to see you all again. You, too. <laughs> Shout out to our production team. You guys know they did this in about seven or eight days. Totally restructured our set, mm -hmm. lighting the whole shebang. Yeah, yep. it's all good. Now we just got to fix the vending machines upstairs. <laughs> What's wrong with them? I'm hungry. I They've need breakfast. They've been taking your money? Yeah. All right, got a little oatmeal there. Well, we hope you guys <laughs> got your breakfast and got your day started to get ready to head on out. Yeah, yeah. Keep it cool out there, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow.